Good morning children. Today we are going to start our next lesson a treat for mosquitoes where I will be discussing about types of mosquitoes about malaria and the mosquitoes causing malaria its causes and precautionary measures. So let's start. There are many types of mosquitoes but some of the common types of mosquitoes are Culex, Aedes, Anopheles and Chikungunya. Mosquito borne diseases are those spread by the bite of an infected mosquito. Diseases that are spread to people by mosquitoes include Malaria, Chikungunya, Japanese encephalitis, Dengue, Zika virus disease, Yellow fever, etc. Malaria is caused by a parasite named Plasmodium, which is transmitted when an infected Anopheles mosquito bites. Aedes aegypti causes Chikungunya. Culex mosquito causes Japanese encephalitis. Aedes aegypti can also cause dengue fever. Again, Aedes mosquito can cause Zika virus disease. Aedes aegypti also causes yellow fever. These are just a few examples given here. This is a table showing the specific disease caused due to the specific type of mosquito and the time when they are active or can bite us. Like, malaria is caused by Anopheles which remains active during the night. So, they bite us at night. Similarly, dengue is caused by Aedes which is active during the day. Chikungunya is caused by Aedes and it remains active during the day. Encephalitis is caused by Culex. It remains active during dawn and dusk. Yellow fever is caused by Aedes and is active during the day. Now, what are the causes of malaria? We can only get malaria if we are bitten by an infected mosquito. If we receive infected blood from someone during a blood transfusion. From mother to child during pregnancy. Malaria is more common during the monsoon season. Mosquitoes can breed at any time or season, but they like the rainy season mostly. So, they breed in the monsoon season. Every year, mosquitoes kill many people around the world. Mosquitoes kill more people than any other diseases or disasters. Let us learn more about malaria. Malaria. It is a disease caused by the bite of an infected mosquito in a person. Every mosquito does not cause malaria. Only the disease carrying mosquitoes causes malaria. How malaria spreads? Female Anopheles is a carrier of malarial parasite. When an infected Anopheles mosquito bites or sucks blood. It leaves the malarial parasite into a blood through its saliva. A malarial parasite is microscopic in shape but cannot be seen through our naked eyes. The causative organism of malaria is a protozoa, a microbe named plasmodium. So, by looking at the symptom in a person, he or she may be asked for a blood test. What are the symptoms of malaria? Fever. This is the most common symptom of malaria. 
besides this chills headache sweats fatigue nausea and vomiting body aches generally feeling sick as the malarial parasite is microscopic in nature so it can be identified by examining it under the microscope a drop of the patient's blood is spread it out as a blood smear on a microscope slide a few drops of blood is taken on a glass slide by pricking a finger with a disposable needle the blood sample collected is added with a stain to diagnose the presence of parasite under a microscope After examining a blood test report is given if the presence of malarial parasite in the blood is detected then the blood report of the patient will be positive also common symptoms of malaria like fever with chills and rigors in the report shows that the person is having malaria Some of the favorable sites for breeding of mosquitoes are when water gets collected in a place for a long time especially during rainy season in stagnant water mosquitoes breed faster sites of mosquitoes can be seen in this picture which are the favorite breeding ground of mosquitoes but it is always said that prevention is better than cure so it's always better to take some precautionary measures to control the spread of mosquitoes like don't let the water collect around you fill up the pits put fish in ponds as fish can eat the larvae of mosquitoes spray oil on water filled in pits ditches and drains use mosquito nets and repellents keep the water pots coolers and tanks clean they should be dried every week keep our surroundings clean wear light and fully covered clothes use mosquito repellents or ointments etc If a person is infected by malarial parasite need to take medicine to kill off the parasite present in his blood From early times the dried and powdered bark of cinchona tree was used to make a medicine for malaria Earlier people used to boil the bark powder and strain the water which was given to patients Now tablets are made from this So this much for today about malaria. We will continue with more topics from the chapter in the next classes. Thank you.